YouTube slash Patreon slash Bit Shoot. Today's video, I want to turn in a quick impromptu video. In today's video, I want to talk about how to know the difference between a covert spy that was hired to monitor you and by somebody, excuse me, versus by somebody that's actually interested in you. So I'm going to repeat that again. How to know the difference between a covert spy that was hired to spy on you versus knowing the difference between a person that is actually interested in you, right? So um, first things first, this shit is funny. Funny as an ironic. So these Freemasons think they're very slick. I think they're very slick. You have a lot of low-level Freemasons, and you have a lot of um, you have a lot of humble ones, you know. But they still part of those people, so you know I don't fuck with them. But um, you got a lot of humble ones that didn't know what they got themselves into. They got tricked. And then you got a lot that's um, they know what the fuck they're doing. They arrogant as fuck. They don't give a fuck about anything but the money. They sell you out. You know, they tell your business, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit. You see what I'm saying? They ain't going down the wrong path, so they job really is to just lead people. So, that's what they say. So, a covert spy, right, is a person that was hired by these Freemasons. To monitor certain people. This is the tricky part about this. How can you monitor somebody without um, technology? Before phones and all that stuff and all that shit. How can you keep track of somebody? Via their social security number. I.e. your slave serial number. Right? And once people started to be aware of that, because you know the 99%, we're not as dumb as the 1% trying to make it out to be. Like, you do got a lot of knuckleheads, you know, um, a couple sellouts and shit like that that's mixed up in the mix and shit, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, you see what I'm saying? But really, the 99%, we're really smarter than they trying to portray us, right? And the funny thing about that is, Entities think they so fucking slick. They think they so fucking smart, right? That's why I say I play dumb. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, when I'm around these Freemasons, but if I'm around somebody that's genuine and shit, and I know that's genuine, of course, you know, I'm gonna beat myself. But these Freemasons, they try to get information out of you. If they can't get, and this is what these covert spies do, if they can't get information out of you, what they do is they ask you a question. And you be like, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause motherfucker really just trying to take that information back and go report to their handler and shit. You know, some dick sucking shit. You know, some faggy gay ass, bitch ass shit, right? And then, um, you don't answer that question or if you give them a certain type of response, they ask you the same question in a different way to try to get the answer or the type of information they looking for so they could uh, go to their handler, you know, a manipulator. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, like shit like that. You know, different things of that nature. And also, they keep asking you, like, about yourself. They keep trying to know about you, what you've been through, all this shit. You know what I mean? They keep trying to just keep tabs on you. And if they're really desperate, which, you know what I mean, can't put this shit past nobody, they'll be uh, hacking your fucking phone and shit, like, real shit. On some real stalkerish, sick, sick in the head mental shit. You know, like some desperate shit. You know, we call it being thirsty. See what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. You know, it's just funny. I can't be thirsty, you feel me? But, um, but hell yeah, man. Motherfuckers just think they slick. And then what they'll do is they keep trying to find info on you so they can try to build up a dossier or try to build up a case against you. Try to pull a knife out, stab you behind your back. But really, how can you stab somebody behind your back when they already know? You know what I mean? You're a demon. And what they do is they play both sides real smooth. So what they'll do is... They ally they with you, like they help you a little bit. 
the whole time they try to fuck with you, you know, they talking shit about you and, you know, doing shit behind your back. Then they help you a little bit, try to keep you, like, lowered in, keep you stuck, like, like they fuck with you and shit. The whole time they really working against you. Like, I'm trying to tell you, I already know motherfuckers working against me. I ain't gonna say no names and shit like that, but I already know. And the funny thing is, is, um, you know, God is watching you and God doesn't like ugly, so that's why he doesn't like your ass. You see what I'm saying? And um, a lot of these demons, I already know they're trying to set me up. They're trying to set up traps and all this shit. And they do it in so subtle different ways. You know what I mean? But you got to play the fool, the fool, the fool. I think they fool you. You see what I'm saying? And a person that's, you know, it's more that these covert, uh, these covert agents do, like these covert spies. They do other shit too, like, you know what I mean? Like they just gossip, 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 go back to the Ronte business, all this shit. And you know, like, you know, just weird shit. Or you ask them certain questions, just watch their facial expression. You know what I mean? If you know body language and shit like that, you can just see, you ask them, motherfucker, motherfucker. You can see it all in their face, nigga. You a hater. You know what I mean? You know what time it is. But a person that's genuinely, genuinely interested in you, they're going to help you. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to take their time to get to know you. They're not going to spy and eavesdrop on your fucking business and all this slut shit. You know what I mean? They ain't going to do all that. They ain't going to eavesdrop on your business. Because, like, why you worry about somebody else's business? If you're interested in the motherfucker, say you're interested in the motherfucker, why you acting like some fucking psycho? Because these people out here are fucking psychos. You see what I'm saying? They're sick and dead. Point blank, period. That's all it really is. You see what I'm saying? And what they do is... They eavesdrop on your business trying to find out shit about you, which you can't do that, but the NSA do it anyway. Of course, now I'm not saying I condone it, but, you know, um, a person that's really interested in you, they're going to take the time to get to know you. They're going to let you heal. They're going to try to help your healing process, especially if you got baggage, mental baggage, physical baggage, you know, shit of that nature. They're going to try to help you heal that. A motherfucking spy or something is going to try to promote that. You know what I mean? Try to, you know, do little shit like that. And every little word you say, they go back, manipulate it a little bit, and go tell it to their handler, a.k.a. their boss. You see what I'm saying? Which is very funny, you know, but that's how these Freemasons work. You feel me? They try, Basically, what they try to do is they try to build you up just to try to snake you out, put you in the paint. You feel me? And that's the funny thing about it, because I've dealt with these entities before. You see what I'm saying? I know what the fuck y'all do. Y'all some dirty motherfuckers. I know what the fuck y'all do. That's why these demons are upset. What the fuck they do? Person that just you. Get to know you. They gonna ask you questions about your uh, past, your life, and stuff you've been through, and they're gonna tell you about their life and their past and the shit they've been through, shit that they going through. They're not gonna just keep trying to learn shit about you and don't tell them about, about themselves. If, you know, some of these spies, they do. If they're like a little bit higher, you know, ranking, like a higher up ranking spy, you know, they'll probably try to tell you a little bit of shit about them. But they're never really going full detail. Like, motherfuckers really living in agony. Uh, excuse me. And they want you to live in agony, too. So misery loves company. You see what I'm saying? You just got to be aware that, like I said, if a person genuinely fuck with you and they genuinely interested in you, they're going to go out their way to help you. You see what I'm saying? No ulterior motive, none of that shit. They're going to want to put an ad towards your healing process. They want to help your growth. They want to help you heal mentally. You know what I mean? They don't want to fuck with you and, you know what I mean, be around you just for your energy and all this different type of shit. There's no ulterior motive. With these spies, it's an ulterior motive. What's the ulterior motive? To build up information on you, to create a dossier, to basically just put you in the paint and snake you out. It's the same fucking playbook. You ain't fooling nobody. I'm a, I'm a fool to fool. I'm a play to fool to fool to fool that think they fooling me. Period. 